It's Marquise Francis here with History on the Street. And right now I'm standing in front of the world famous Apollo Theater right here in Harlem, New York as History on his Black History Month. It's been said if you can make it on this stage, you can make it anywhere. Why? Let's find out. Just to start off, what makes the Apollo such a historic place? Well, the Apollo Theater is the actually the epicenter of black culture in, in the world. So many of the greatest artists of all time have rocked our stage, you know. Uh, it doesn't matter what genre of music, uh, you know, from gospel to hip hop to country to, to uh, neo soul to R&B, even opera is done here at the Apollo Theater. The building was built in 1914 as a burlesque house. The building was uh, then called Hertig and Siemens New Burlesque Theater. And then burlesque was banned in all theaters in New York by the then mayor, Fiorella LaGuardia. And in 1934, new owners buy the building and they renamed the building the Apollo Theater. And around the same time, there came this uh, emergence of African-Americans into Harlem. Can you talk about how, over time, the Apollo has had to continue to evolve? Well, you know, it started out with jazz in the 30s. Uh, from there, here comes doo-wop, you know? And then before you know it, here comes uh, R&B. And before you know it, here comes hip-hop. When you look at black history, where does the Apollo fit in black history? Oh, my God. Uh, you cannot uh, uh, talk about a black history without mentoring entertainment. And when you mention entertainment, the Apollo Theater is tops. Uh, there are other theaters all over the country that have well recognition, but there's only one world famous Apollo Theater. And so, you know, it's the diamond of all theaters. It's the diamond of Harlem. It's just an incredible place that everybody aspires to want to perform, even now, to this very day. We get acts that people normally don't associate with performing at the Apollo that always do. 